The upcoming U.S. Olympic speed skating trials start at the Pettit National Ice Center right after the new year. But increasing eyeballs on the sport is just part of what two notable former Olympians want to do to get more athletes in speed skating. We have under 20 men that are actually in the competition, so it's really critical for us to fill that pipeline, and Dash is really trying to, to get fill that need. Former Olympic speed skater Dave Cruikshank and his wife, Bonnie Blair, have seen the numbers in recent U.S. junior national competitions. 20 boys and like 24 girls, which actually, usually the boys outnumber the girls, but to me that number's just not high enough. It's why they help form DASH, or Developing Athletes for Speed Skating High Performance with Michael Sell. You could look at it as alarming, and, and I think it is, but it's also an opportunity. I mean, there's, there's this wide open canvas that we kind of get to paint. And like Dave said, the Milwaukee and the Midwest, it's, it's a prime spot. Work is already underway, and the upcoming Olympic speed skating trials will only help. If they go into hockey, great. If they go into figure skating, great. We just want them on the ice to experience what we've experienced, um, which is the pleasure of going fast and having the wind in your face. and and the joy of trying to do your best. I just think back to the days when I was growing up and seeing all those athletes in front of me and always wanting to chase after them. And that's really kind of what it's all about. They have former gold medalists and Olympians skate with the kids. And who knows, maybe they can find the next Bonnie or Dan in the next bunch. One of the big things that Dash is trying to do is take some of the most successful people that speed skating's ever seen, that this community's ever seen, and pass that knowledge down to the next generation to continue some of that Olympic greatness that's come right out of Milwaukee. The top goal would be to get 100,000 kids to try skating in the next decade. Lance Allen, TMJ4 Sports.